Today I'm off to Hampton, Southwest London, Surrey, something like that, to watch Hampton and Richmond Borough play Hipster's favourite Dulwich Hamlet in the Vanarama National League South. It's definitely a clash between two of the division's nicest teams. Both teams have a great reputation, a lovely set of fans, honest, attractive brand of football, and it promises to be a really nice game today. Hampton and Richmond Borough play at the Beverley Stadium, or to give it its official title this season, the Clear Soul Beverley Stadium. Each year for the past few seasons, Hampton and Richmond Borough have had a really innovative uh, scheme where people can pay to enter in a lottery to win the rights to name the stadium. This year it was won by somebody who decided to name the stadium after his five month old daughter. So the Clear Soul Beverley Stadium is where I'm off to today. The cycle ride today won't be one of the most difficult ones. I'll be going back through Dorking, past the Silver Cock. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too bad a cycle today. I'll be going back through Dorking, past that silver cock. <laughs> it's not too bad a cycle today. I'll be going back through Dorking, past that silver cock. It's not too bad a cycle today. I'll be going back through Dorking, past the silver cock on the roundabout. <laughs> it's not too bad a cycle today. Um, it's about 50 kilometres, about 30 miles. It'll take me about three hours. I'll be going back through Dorking, past that silver cock on the roundabout, um, through Leatherhead, Epsom, and then into Hampton where I'll be watching the game. It's a bit grey, cold, wet and windy, so, you know, Britain in a nutshell. So, I'm going to crack on with the ride. the lovely old school Beverly Stadium where I'm going to be watching uh, Hampton and Richmond Borough play Dulwich Hamlet today. Let's go through some of the key players to look out for today for Hampton. We'll start in goal with Alan Julian, the ex-Gillingham and Brentford goalkeeper who actually scored a goal uh, in the cup a couple of seasons ago for Billericay Town.
He's still going strong at close to 40 years old. Um, uh, he's a great goalkeeper and he's one to look out for today. Donaldson at left back is definitely one of the division's uh, better left backs. Um, great crosser of the ball. Uh, he actually pops up with the occasional goal every now and again. So he's one of my favourite players in this team. Alongside captain Dean Inman, who'll be playing through the middle of the park today. In attack, they've got James Roberts, who's always got a goal in him. Uh, he's, a, he's a fantastic player. And, uh, you know, if he hits the right vein of form, he's, he can be a real danger for any side in this division. For Dulwich Hamlet, the indomitable Danny Mills is on the bench today alongside Reese Alassani. But in the starting lineup, they've got Gio McGregor. Um, he's got goals and assists uh, in him. Uh, his vision is really, really good. Um, he can spot a pass from, from a mile out, uh, can take a good free kick as well. So uh, he's definitely one of their main danger men for Dulwich Hamlet today. So it promises to be a really good game. Um, I'm going to go and get something to eat because I'm starving after that 30 mile cycle. All right, bacon double cheeseburger uh, with onions, £4.50 standard, let's give it a go.
So we've finished 2-1 to Hampton Richmond Borough today. Uh, quite an even game, uh, certainly in the first half. Dulles took the lead through an early penalty uh, and certainly dominated the first, first half of the first half. Hampton and Richmond, though, battled back into it and uh, eventually equalised uh, not long before half-time. Into the second half, and McCann had clearly given his players a bit of a rocking because Hampton came out absolutely all guns blazing. Um, uh, chance after chance, and uh, Dulwich were rocking. And so it came that courtesy of a handball, there was a red card and a penalty, and Hampton took the lead. It was a pulsating tie and Dulwich had a number of chances uh, to equalise but the ball just didn't fall right for them and uh, ultimately it finished 2-1 to Hampton and Richmond in what was a really, really enjoyable game. It wasn't quite as niggly as the referee thought it was. Uh, six yellow cards and, and a red card. Uh, it really wasn't that kind of game uh, but nevertheless it was, a, it was a really enjoyable advert for non-league. So I cycled 30 miles to get here today, it took me just under three hours. Um, this is all in aid of Prostate Cancer UK, they're a wonderful charity who do a lot to research a disease that kills one man every 45 minutes. In the time that it's taken me to watch this game today, sadly two men have died from prostate cancer. The Just Giving link is uh, below, so please do donate if you can. Um, it's all going to a wonderful cause. We've raised uh, about £2,200 thereabouts, um, and we're well on the way to our target of £2,500. So it's been a really good trip uh, to come to a wonderful football club. Uh, please do join me next time, where I'll be cycling to today's opponents at Dulwich Hamlet in what promises to be a fantastic tie in the Banarama National League South.